Greetings everyone! Welcome back to our channel and today we're gonna see the papers please. This is definitely a game that should cause your attention. Okay. In a very original game, the papers please, our hero is a passport control inspector of the fictional state of Artosk. His life is frankly loosely, work is boring and monotonous, living conditions are disgusting, wages are tiny and expenses are growing every day. The daily routine is to stamp passports, allowing or denying people at the border. The bosses constantly complicate life, forcing each time to demand more and more documents from the potential immigrants, turning a simple in general procedure into a, into a bureaucratic hell. Primitive graphics, evoking a vague longing for a childhood 8-bit toys, are now in trend, especially among indie developers. I confess that I'm personally not happy with this trend more and the more irritated thoughts arise that under the guise of original minimalistic design we are being served outright visual hack work. Fortunately the situation is different with papers please. No, minimalism in its 8-bit spirit also prevails there, but it does not even cause the mentioned irritation. Firstly, because the game has its own face, rough, clumsy but regional. Secondly, the face is appropriate here. It is difficult to imagine such a story about totalitarian state in the early 80s in a different style. And thirdly, because you stop paying attention to the graphics after just a couple of minutes after being included directly in the gameplay, the situation is aggravated by the disgusting relations with the neighbor state, which every now and then sends terrorists to Artotsk. At the same time, most of them are encrypted, and try to go through the checkpoint of our hero. However, the hero of Papers, Please has nowhere to go. In a state with unstable political and economic situation, there is no need to complain. It's still better than being left without a job. The hero understands this is where the longing at the heart begins each working day at 6 am with the documents, please. Papers, Please is actually an amazing game. To begin with, this is a simulator of an official playing which you can safely spend several hours without ever getting bored. The main merit of Lucas Pope, the developer, is that he amazingly entered into the elementary procedure for checking documents in an interesting gameplay, an entertaining plot and drama that develops both and around fictional states and ordinary people. Our task is to check documents for errors, inaccurates and so on. We start small, citizens should only have a passport, then the task becomes more complicated, a pass ticket, a pass, a work visa, an identification card with a description of appearance are at. Each such document has many lines, each of which requires careful verification. It often happens that a city from the completely different story is indicated in the passport of one state. The serial number of the pass does not coincide with the number of main document. Documents may be expired, forged, Photographs may differ and so on and so on and all these times must be followed Thank you guys for watching. I'll leave the game link in the description Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Also, don't hesitate to press that like button and The subscribe button obviously. Thank you so much Peace have a good one. Bye. Bye